Cobra Bible Book 6, Chapter 6, The Real Man. And I found this chapter very instructive. NPR 6-9. A great man is no less great, though he lie prostrated and vanquished in the dust. The real man accepts both victory and defeat for what they really are, a challenge to his manliness. NPR 610. The real man stands apart in greatness because of his outstanding qualities, his love of truth, the justice, and his hatred of meanness and deceit. NPR 611. Though great men make great events, even as great events call forth great men, they are not always the children of fortune. Success and acclaim do not always attend their undertakings. But whether they rise or fall is of lesser importance than how they rise and fall. It is not what a man does that makes him great, but what he strives to achieve. NPR 612 The greatest men have no memorial if their endeavors were unpopular or not crowned with success. For every great man with a memorial, there are a thousand unknown and unhonored. NPR 613 The real man remains unperturbed by the whims of life. He does not flinch before misfortune or ease his head when fortune smiles upon him. When misfortune descends upon his head and his hopes and dreams are shattered, he does not go about lamenting in a loud voice, but quietly continues his daily task. People assume that great people have it easy. It is not true. They do what they feel is right, their strength of belief in right and wrong, could be seen by many as arrogant and judgmental. A few like to be reminded of how far they have fallen or failed in being themselves. At times on earth the least of us lead and force the strong to stand against it. They may be right, but they can fail in judgment. We are all human. And fact is, as it said in chapter 5, we should not strive to live a long life. If our life has value to others, then it should be preserved. But when our death has more value, then you should face it. You might not realize it, but we all have a purpose and no death is meaningless. You might go through life thinking you've had no impact, but eyes are everywhere. Something you do, including how you suffer affliction and inevitable death, when you learn from your losses, that could have far greater impact on someone that just sees you but never speaks. It is not always great people that get accolades and pats on the back. If you take a stand against those in charge, but not willing to make it about yourself, not willing to make yourself more important than your acts, by telling all around you what you have done, uh, those people will not get acknowledgement by many, but those that do acknowledge will be forever changed. The lowest military personnel, a person on the street that offers compassion when none was asked, so many small insignificant people can change so many, suffering even those disabled or homeless can have an impact. It is what you do, how you endure the pain and afflictions that will be seen and shape others in ways only God can understand. He will bring those people to you. Only the arrogant will think themselves God and actively go out and convert others through words to their version of God. The fact they are actively trying to convert through voice shows they do not know the true God because God does not need you to drag people kicking and screaming in front of God to be saved. God will provide the opportunity and bring those ready for your message to you. If you have humility, you will understand that you can't force change. You must wait for the opportunity that God provides, and usually that opportunity is only to see you. Your words mean nothing if you are not living your life in the words you speak. Words are only good for those that see in you a life they want. Only after they seek you out will your words have impact, because they see value in what they see in you. Verse 613 ends well, but it starts off wrong. When communicating in words, the great do have doubt. They do struggle, but they do not show it outwardly. Saying to be great, you must have no doubt, will lead to the arrogant seeing themselves as great. And the real people who are great, to doubt they are, since they have doubt in their right to speak up. Words can be misunderstood so much. Here is great, but this one verse, out of context, 
could send so many astray. <laughs>